Good morning. In today's video blog, I'd like to talk about Apple, specifically the iPhone 5, which, as we all know, is enjoying enormous sales. And it certainly begs the question at this point, is Apple and iPhone in, an, in a ubiquitous position right now in the mobile market? Well, let's look at what it's done very, very well over the past few years. It succeeded in the ergonomics factor. This isn't insignificant in the IT arena because it's an area, ergonomics, that most IT vendors neglect, and Apple has capitalized on it. They're clearly right now with the iPhone, the mobile device of choice. But with evolution of Internet, there are some clouds or threats on the horizon, and there are also opportunities. And here is the next page of that. We're going to see an onslaught of internet advertising specifically targeted at mobile devices and iPhone so that if you walk down the street we will probably reach a point for every retail store that you pass that there's an iPhone ad that flicks on, or a mobile ad that flicks onto your phone. It would be possibly an iPhone. And, at, and there's a fine line here as in using GPS technology and also advertising over internet as to how much is too much. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to The Gap. How does assorted tank tops work out for you? I mean, it's great for you to see a sale at a store that you're passing if it's something that you need. It might not be so great to get inundated with 20 different ads on a single street corner. So there's, an, there's a balance here to be struck between the revenue opportunity and also the usability factor. And this is the next area of ergonomics for Apple.